Welcome to Star Citizen and to the guide for an all-in-one tool, the SC Launch Configurator. Because with this free, complete tool, you can not only make adjustments, change the language in the game, configure your joysticks and more, because also different workarounds and bug fixes are included. Therefore, we show you how you can use the tool, where you get it and what you can do with it. And first of all, thanks to Chupa, the developer of the tool, which provides it free of charge at luftwerft.com. After downloading the only 2 MB large tool, you can choose between English and German and install the whole thing. And if you are missing the necessary prerequisites for the tool, such as the Microsoft Desktop Runtime, refer to the tool and you will also get a download right away. Then we can simply start the tool. And for the program start, the note that you need administrator rights for special settings, especially the change of the CPU process priority for Star Citizen. But most of the settings also work without a start as an administrator. And above all, the note that you can also switch the program language from English to German or even French and thus perform the complete configuration in your language. In the main view, we first see our profiles, which we can also select in the menu on the left. And we can not only create and adapt these profiles, but also copy them to the different environments. That means if you are on the PTU or on a tech preview, you can simply copy different profiles there and do not have to make settings manually. And we can not only export such created profiles, but also import them. For example, we can pre-configure a high-performance mode for different areas of application and import it directly during a new test. This saves us from having to redo various settings and configurations every time, when you get the new PTU version for example. And of course, we can also delete, rename or adapt and sort profiles. A powerful option are the expert settings, which you can not yet see in the standard view. Here, we have to unlock these in the options first. And we'll show you how to unlock this option in a moment. But beware, changing the values can lead to unwanted effects in the game. So, you should know what you are doing. Because here you can not only change normal game settings like the resolution, but also head tracking, look ahead functions or adjust the basic settings for your Toby eye tracker. And of course, you have access to the settings without starting the game. That means, if something does not work, you can also reset the settings here. But to be able to see these expert settings, we have to activate them on the left side under Options. Here, we not only find the programming language of the tool, but you can also download and edit your joystick mappings. It is also possible to implement different translations in almost all languages for Star Citizen. French, Italian, Korean and so on. You can choose for the live or PTU environment whether you want to use Star Citizen in a translated language version. But this is a community translation at the moment and not officially CIG translations. And as an example for the German version, we will show you later how you can activate this. Using the automatic update functions for the joystick mappings or the translations, you can launch automatic updates at the start of the tool. Otherwise, you have to do this manually. Also, whether the tool is automatically started with Windows and how the window should behave. And also the option to automatically display changes that you make in the game and to save them accordingly in the tool, you can choose. The automatic saving of your settings can also be useful. And down here, we find the expert mode that we need to access the expert mode in the different profiles. If this option is not active, you will not see the button. If you activate it, you can also access it. An absolute highlight of the SC Launch Configurator is the ICM, the Intelligent Shader Management. Here we can only recommend this. Because this automatically removes unused shaders. So from old game versions or unused test environments and saves you a lot of hard drive space. But for details about the shader cache, we come later. And then we come to the function for which we need administrator rights, namely for changing the process priority for Star Citizen. Because for this we have to start in admin mode. Changing the process priority can have a significant effect on your game performance. But we only recommend you to start step by step and with a little higher than normal. And here's a little warning, if you open a lot of additional programs, this can also lead to crashes. Therefore, 
use this at your own risk and with patience. We also recommend only in exceptional cases to empty the entire shader cache, which you can also delete via the tool. Because the intelligent shader management function offers you an optimum here. Emptying the shader cache completely is only really recommended in exceptional cases and with some problems in the game. And with the options copy character to PTU or character repair, you get a link to the corresponding entries on your RSI account. And finally, we have the function to rename our various game folders, for example, the live to a PTU or from the PTU back to the live. All settings are retained and you can use the different game versions. But it may be worthwhile to create different environments and not just rename your folder, because the different game versions otherwise have to be updated every time. But we will also look at this function in a moment. Because first, let's take a look at the settings for your different game versions. Here, for example, the live version. If you activate the extended configuration, you have access to the most important settings. And also here, we can select an optional community-based translation for Star Citizen. However, further steps are required here, which we will show you in a moment. We can also select display informations in advance, the performance display with the FPS, server informations and corresponding data. With the frame rate limiter, you can limit the maximum FPS. Here we recommend using a maximum of 30 FPS, especially in idle mode, to save performance and energy. And for the game, the maximum your monitor can display. And you can also find all performance relevant settings here, such as VSync, SSDO, LOD ratio, motion blur and so on. To save performance, we recommend turning off soft shadows and deactivating TSSA. But more on this, of course, we show you in the dedicated performance guides here in the channel. An exciting feature is to set your joystick sequences at start. Because Windows like to throw the sequence at a restart over the heap and in Star Citizen you are no longer have your usual key combinations and otherwise have to change them manually. And it is also possible to create different profiles for different purposes. So for example a max FPS profile or a profile that offers the most beautiful graphics. But also different joystick configurations can be set. And you have also the option of displaying your joystick settings directly via the tool and also being able to print them if you want to use them. Another highlight is the automatic FOF calculator, where you can enter your screen data and how far you are away from your screen, and the tool tells you which FOF value would be optimal for you. A nice feature, especially for Star Citizen. And these FOF values determined in this way, you can also be saved directly in the game. And of course, you can also specify your own FOF value directly in the export settings. Another useful feature is the automatic addition of new channels, depending on which ones you are unlocked or which ones are available. Here we can, for example, make it easier to create a current available EPTU, whereby the necessary data is automatically copied and the new profile is created. But let's take a look on how we can change different languages. If we select German here on our live channel, for example, and just start a game, we get the official Star Citizen translation from CIG. But these translations are really unusable for any language except English, because many terms are not yet translated here and you have to work with a lot of placeholders, which is no fun. But thanks on the community, there are some free community translations for any language. And the German community translation is carried out by a team around RJCNCPT. And of course, we have provided you the link for this in the video description. And for example, for the live version, we can generate a direct link with a click on RAW. And we need this direct link again for the SU Launch Configurator. Here we can simply enter this link via the edit function under, for example, German. And make sure to enter the link between the quotation marks. And after saving our changes in the file, we can download and update the language files via the small download symbol inside SC Launch Configurator. And after the translation is updated regularly, we always have a suitable translation, at least for the live version. But one more note. In some game areas, for example in their interaction with terminals or so, there can be problems with the translation. Therefore, the use of Star Citizen at a community translation version is always at own risks. But the problems in the game are really minimal and hardly noticeable. So we can definitely recommend the most community translations, and of course the German translation. 
And at this point, a big thank you to everyone who is working hard on translations. This speaks out well for the Star Citizen communities. And after a restart, we have Star Citizen completely, for example, in German. And not only the settings and the different options, but also in the game, so mission descriptions, text and so on. And don't worry, you can of course switch back to the standard and official language file for each start of the game via the SC Launch Configurator. Because if there is a new patch and the new translation does not come in time, it may be worthwhile to wait a few days here. And don't worry, there are no easy anti-cheat problems either. And finally, another note, the Launch Configurator does not actively access Star Citizen or your account in the launcher at any time. This means that there will be no data prices. And also, the tool is well known at CIG. We can definitely recommend the tool to you. And this Made in Germany tool from Chupa is of course completely free. But the developer is certainly happy about the little thank you. Because there is really a lot of work in here since the various beta tests. And we say thank you for this. So I say goodbye until next time, see you soon and see you in the verse. Of course, with the SE Launch Configurator.